Hello, who's ever watching this? I'm experimental and I just want to chat. Um, I want to talk about today about Gabby Hanna and the reason why people are basically upset if you couldn't tell from the title, you know, it's literally word for word pretty much. And I basically want to talk about why I think people are upset and in the background, we are playing Stardew Valley. I hope that's good. I hope that's great. Um, so I just thought it was better than playing with a blank screen. And I thought it would be more interesting than rather me just staring into a blank screen and just talking. But if I ever like stutter or I just like, you know, take a second, it's because I'm playing the game and thinking. So I want to start off by saying hi. Thanks for watching my channel, um, for clicking on the video. I know how sucky it is, you know, being stuck at home watching YouTube. But great news is, is that we are, you know, having the time of our lives, you know, lots of YouTube drama, plenty of you know, scandals going on right now. And obviously, if you couldn't tell from the title, the most notably one right at this very moment is currently Gabby Hanna. Um, obviously, she's not the only one that's being debated right now or talked about, but, you know, right now she's the one most people are, you know, concerned about. And I can honestly see why, and let's be honest, it's no surprise why she's the one most people are like, oh, maybe not you know, consider her being the best. But I want to start off by saying obvious as well that, you know, obviously don't send hate to people, you know, it's not their, you know, fault. They are the way they are. And anything I discuss is fair use because a majority of it's been shared by them themselves. And obviously if I get something wrong, I do want to note that I would love to be educated. Um, I am not very active on social media and I honestly don't follow Gabby Hanna, so I obviously don't know her personally. So anything I say can obviously be taken with a grain of salt. Obviously, we don't know what a lot of YouTubers do in their free time. So far be it for me to be like, hey, I don't like you because you did this. But I wanted to just note that because I know there's a big stigma about, you know, com commentary channels and what they're allowed to talk about on YouTube. Anyway. Jumping right into it, let's um, talk about why at the moment I don't watch Gabby Hanna. I have not watched Gabby Hanna in the past, I want to say, a year and a half to two years. The most notable reason being her content just wasn't it for me anymore. I don't personally hate her because, you know, obviously I don't know her. Her content just wasn't for me. Um, I liked her you know, exaggerated, um, videos where it was like, you know, my, uh, Uber driver almost killed me, you know, whatever. Those I really liked because I just found them entertaining. I found them exaggerated. I just thought they were just funny little videos that weren't hurting anyone. Well, obviously, you know, as Gabby's gotten older, her content has changed, which is, you know, perfectly fine. You know, as you, um, grow, people grow with you and they either take you with them Meaning, you know, in my case, I continue watching Gabby Hanna or that opinion has changed and I just don't like her anymore. Now, I don't hate her, but her just content's not for me, which I was perfectly fine with until this situation caught my eye. Now, I did not find out about this um, the way I probably should have. I found this from... Uh, watching a YouTube video, I forgot his name. He's Adam McIntyre. That's his name. Um, I was, I watch his videos adamantly. He's a great content creator. I will, if I remember, link him down in below in the description. If not, someone please remind me if you watch this because I am forgetful. Anyway, I saw this from him and I was like, no, like this, this has got to be exaggerated. You know, commentary channels, sometimes they take things out of the loop. And I was like, like, no one is like this stupid to post something like this. You know, when it's harmful for a variety of reasons, and mm, Lean does the state was the truth. Anyway, um, what I'm discussing is Gabby's TikToks. Now, I don't watch Gabby's TikToks. I'm pretty sure on my personal TikTok account, I have her blocked because, once again, her content's just not for me. It's I don't care about her music. I personally like a few, a few of them. Um, the meme one, like, um, what if I'm a monster or, like, monster, where she goes like that didn't hate it. It was fine. I didn't care. Um, I thought it was funny. 
Um, but her content, like I said, just not for me. Anyway, um, I'm going, I was going around, you know, and I, um, went, made a new account and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just watch and see if like, this is the truth because like, no one's this stupid. And you know, I found out, you know, she is. And it kind of made me angry because I honestly thought, I think like most people that maybe she was just going through something and um it was just best not to comment and to just like let it go because you know some people you know you go through things and it, it can be stressful so leave her alone we're living in weird times she's not really hurting anybody you know that I know of but you leave her alone because you know as far as I know she's written two books you know that she's claimed are for um people who have you know who are suffering from high levels of stress or issues, you know, that they can't get through. And that's fine. Like, I, I, I don't personally like her poetry. It's not my cup of tea. I'm not the one, you know, she's writing for. So, ignoring that fact, I'm going to take what I know about her from the media. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to run with it. Because what I am seeing right now can be very harmful to a lot of communities. She was, for lack of a better word, um, running with a narrative and making people think that she was going through something when she apparently wasn't, which she said she isn't. So I'm going to take that as face value as she's not going through anything. She's fine. You know, she said she's never been better. And the way she was betraying herself on media was very harmful. The reason I'm saying that is because if you have a group of people who, I'm going to preface this, you'll find out why I'm saying this later in the video, but who aren't subscribed to your Patreon and don't know exactly what you're doing and they really think that there's something wrong and they just want to you to say, hey, I'm good. Like, don't freak out. Um, that would have been great to just be like, hey, I'm trolling, like, bye. But it was found out on Gabby's Patreon, someone released it, that she was trolling, but she was portraying herself as, like, going through a main, um, she, she was portraying herself as if she was going through something mentally. And no one was commenting, everyone was worried, you know, no one wants to be that person who kick someone while they're down you know that's the worst thing a person I feel can do and then for Gabby to release on her patreon no she's she's never better well she didn't release that on her patreon that I think she released I think on either tiktok or youtube like you know she wasn't going through anything so people were taking it at face value that she was fine and she was just hanging out and don't get me wrong like I'm sure it went through people's heads you know oh she's just you know you know, trolling, she's just, you know, having the time of her life, she thinks we're all idiots, which normally I would have no problem with because, you know, everyone's got, you know, something they're going for, but for me, who watches her, at the same point, you can't help but be like, mm, maybe not, and then to know, because I'm not a subscriber to her, I'm not subs um, paying to her Patreon, which, yes, Patreon, you do get exclusive content and things like this. But stuff like this, I think, should be made out to the public. Hey, I'm just trolling. You know, I have this thing coming out that I want to promote and make sure a lot of people are tuned into my life. Okay, great, fine. But there are better ways to do that. I don't know where this derogative of I'm going to act completely the opposite of my personality so people watch my channel. So I can get views, money, whatever. I th This ideology, it just angers me. Because there are so many ways you could handle this better. And then to know that this is how she has decided to spend her time. And usually I let a lot of things go. Because I know a lot of YouTubers, you know, they're just trying to make a living. You know, far be it, I'm half dead. Um, far be it for me to describe, you know, get your money, but as far as I know, 
Gabby Hanna is not struggling. There is no reason for her to be acting the way she does, especially knowing she has built her brand, I guess, her brand on um, promoting mental health and writing books based on mental health and things of that nature. And then to find out, you know, she's not taking it seriously like you would expect her to, especially knowing she's a person who promotes it, but then she acts as if it's not related to her. And I find that incredibly selfish because you are promoting to this young audience that it is okay to act like this. It is okay to promote yourself having a mental breakdown. If I didn't know who Gabby Hanna was, pretend I was 13 years old and I was going through something. I'm scrolling on TikTok trying to have a fun time, you know, um, for something to do. I stumble across... Gabby Hannah. Why I don't know, but I'm here. I'm 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 subs I found Gabby Hannah and I'm gonna watch her videos, um, her TikToks, I should say. And then for all of a sudden to see, you sign up thinking you're getting music content, you're getting creativity. She you um find out she wrote two books, and then to just click on one day and see her from a perspective of any normal person having essentially a breakdown as far as you know how negatively that can impact you not to say famous people or you know famous eh, I'm gonna say famous essentially famous people can have breakdowns too but at the same point her audience because she used to come from Vine. Oh, Gabby Hanna originally originated from Vine. If you don't know that, I don't know why you wouldn't know that. But if you don't, she originally came from Vine. And, you know, she transferred over and she had a built-in audience. Yes, some of that audience has grown with her. But more often than not, that audience has st stayed being primarily young. The big consensus is not a lot of people like her poetry, not a lot of people like all of her music. Um, personally, I don't have an artist where I love every single, every song. I don't think most people do. Um, most people don't have that undying loyalty towards artists anymore. I'm sorry to break it to you. Um, even some K-pop people, I know we like to like break out on K-pop as if it's like this big thing but even them primarily they don't like every song of every k-pop artist they don't like every k-pop artist just like some people can like the music but not the person um so but gabby hannah as she has grown and her audience has aged up she has decided to take a more creative route i would say that being she's written two poetry books and she's she's writing music which I have no problem with. I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool for YouTubers to like break out and be like, hey, um, I'm going to do something new. I have this built in audience. I get to experiment more. My problem is. Once again, I want to promote the fact that she wrote these books based on issues she had while growing up. And I am not saying like anything's bad. It's not written for me. It, I, I cannot interpret it. The way other people can, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm horrible at poetry. I'm never going to re critique it. I'm never going to critique it. Um, ever. It's. I, I don't care enough to. My problem is, is that she, to me, bases a lot of her creativity and any of her creative aspects on issues relating to mental health, primarily her mental health. So as a bystander looking in at her, I feel as if I have a connection with her mentally that I know in real time or relatively in real time what she's thinking, how she's feeling, how she's handling different situations that are going on in her life. And then for her to promote on her TikTok 
of someone having a breakdown and then being like, oh, I'm trolling. It makes you kind of sick to your stomach is what I'm getting at. Because I don't consider that trolling. I don't think it's funny. I find it to be uncomfortable. I find it to be wrong. I find it to be harmful to a younger audience. And I don't care if her algorithm says, you know, you only have young people, um, older people watching you 20 and up. I don't believe that worth anything, worth crap. I don't, I don't believe that. You're always going to have a younger audience looking in. And then for her to post something like that. And TikTok is known for being a relatively child-friendly app. And then I know, like, she's essentially, in my mind, promoting such a negative outlook on life. It makes you worried. Because I think it's wrong. And don't get me wrong, if she was really, go like I said, when you think of her going through something because she is known to struggle from what you see on her, for, from her, what she shared online, you feel for her, you don't want to comment, and then to find out on Patreon, somewhere you have to pay to get that, to be, I guess, in the loop, that she's trolling, to me is ridiculous. And once again, I don't consider this to be trolling. I consider it to be harmful for another number of reasons. And maybe that is why my opinion of Gabby Hanna in general has changed. And I think this whole, as a whole, makes me see YouTubers as a com in a completely different light. Because why are they always so open to doing things that are harmful to people. I get it. No one is perfect 100% of the time. I am not stupid enough to believe it. Nor am I, you know, this like perfect person myself. But I hate bringing up women's ages. I, I hate doing that. I'm 20 years old. And I know enough. Even as a joke trolling in this case as she worded it I believe that I could never post of myself having a, a, a I guess a fake breakdown because even though I myself have never been in that situation I can only imagine how harmful it can be for people who are actually going through something to see another person to have going through something and how that can negatively impact you and then to note that she is a person who does suffer from what we've seen through things. And then seeing these things, her doing something like this, it makes you question her integrity as a whole. Now, I'm never going to say, oh, like, you know, she lies about, like, everything. Because you don't know a person. You don't know what's going on in their head. You don't know why they're doing what you're, they're doing. You, you, you don't. Once again, I just, it, it's ridiculous. It, it, it really is. I, I don't know what to say in regards of her as a person. I don't know her as a person. I can't make judgments on her based on what I've seen about YouTube. Because once again, I don't know her. But from what I've seen about her, I don't like her. And that's a horrible thing to say. I, I just don't, I, I don't like her. But I don't. And I feel horrible saying that because as a person, I don't think I could ever, I don't hate anybody. I don't hate Gabby Hanna. I don't think she's a, an all around bad person. I think she makes a lot of ridiculous decisions that make me question why she has a platform. When you do something like this, I don't think you should be allowed to have a platform because you are being harmful. And I get it. Maybe she wasn't thinking. 
but knowing she is older than me and once again I hate bringing up women's ages because I myself as a woman hate people bringing up my age but I'm bringing it up because to me why is there this like idea that she can get away with stuff simply because she's a woman I, I, I'm assuming it's because she's a woman I can't think of anything else um that would make it okay because everything I am seeing right here right now at this moment makes me angry because if other people did something like this it would be you are this horrible terrible person you deserve everything bad that happens to you um you know there would just be like this manhunt for this person but because it's Gabby Hannah and you know she is known to have these maniac episodes, I suppose, or like breakdowns. I hate saying that. I, I, I you know what? I'm gonna let that go. Let me just let that go. I hate saying that. But since she is supposedly known for having these episodes, I'm gonna call them episodes. I'm so sorry if that triggers you. I am so sorry. Um, but she's known for having these episodes, as I said, and um. I guess because of that, it's okay for her to act this way. And obviously, I, like I said, I'm not a person who suffers this way. I could not tell you anything different. I, I couldn't. I'm not going to pretend like I can. I, I, I don't. I don't suffer this way, so I can't judge someone. But once again, she has openly said that this, you know, there's nothing wrong with her. So I feel it's okay for me to speak on this because taking from face value... She said there is nothing wrong and she has released a statement apparently on Patreon saying, you know, she was just trolling. And like I said, I find that to be very harmful. All around, I just want to like say like, I guess to wrap this up, because there's really not much to say that other people haven't said before or brought up. I just all around think a lot of the things that Gabby Hanna has a, as a person has done is harmful. Now, I'm not going to say don't watch her videos. She's like this, such a horrible person. Don't watch her videos. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying anything I watch from her from now on, I will take with take from it with a grain of salt. Because obviously, even though I think of her as this person with a big platform, I think of her as a big, you know, popular creator, I am well aware now that anything she says or does, I need to take it with a grain of salt because I don't want to harm myself. I don't want to harm others. I don't want to, you know, branch out and be like, hey, because Gabby said this, blah, 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 blah. I have to believe her. Um, I think I'm going to be very wary looking for, looking, you know, into the future with her because like I said, I don't want to cause any harm to me or anybody else. You know, I think as human beings, I think we should strive, you know, to be as kind to one another as we can. But I was finding myself getting progressively angrier as the situation goes on because I, I don't find this behavior acceptable. I, I don't. I, I don't support it. I don't think it's right. I think even if she's just, she's just trolling for funsies. I think it's wrong. How can you look at me and tell me that this is a good thing for you to do? That this is okay? I don't find it okay. I find it wrong. How can you as another person do something like this and go, oh, because I wanted to. This one's messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. This cutscene. I messed up. I, I made a, I got this skin. Um off of uh nexus and uh, it, it just doesn't work right it's it's not my fault see i told you it don't look right anyway um i guess just to wrap this up i just want to make it clear you know i don't hate gabby i don't think she's a horrible person or anything i think you know she's a person like me or you and she's just trying to make it big and i i don't know who said it but someone made a comment like you know Maybe it's because, you know, she's releasing something. And, you know, I, I just hate the idea like that, that would be the reason why someone would betray themselves 
as if they're going through something to make a, a whole group of people. I'm essentially thinking her whole fan base worry over her plus anyone else who is in the outside looking in and then knowing that she's just having a laugh about it. I'm trolling. I'm so funny. Do you think the people that I also want to note the people that she attacked, Angelica Oles, now I think she's going after Trisha Paytas. Do you think she, they were thinking, oh, she's trolling. This is so funny. She's trolling. Like, this is, like, such a funny thing to know that she's trolling. Do, do you really think, like, that's how they felt in that moment? That you were being, oh, so funny? No, I would feel like I'm being attacked by a creator. By my fellow creator on my um, art platform that we shared together. That's not cool. That's not right. It's wrong. And for her as a creator to go, tee hee hee hee, this is so funny. God, people are so stupid. People aren't stupid. It's called they don't want to harm another human being by assuming. And then knowing that you did something like this, it's tee hee hee, it's fine. It just makes me angry. It, it, it just, it just, it just boils my blood knowing that another human being is like, this is so funny. That this is like, oh, so okay. This is so much fun. This is so much fun to like, you know, talk about these things, do these things, you know, and just, you know, all around have a grand old time, you know, making fun of you, making fun of me, making fun of anybody. I just find it wrong. I guess there's nothing much for me else to talk for me else for me to talk about because you know anything I say or do, you know you have to take with a grain of salt. I'm not a proper commentary YouTuber. I don't care much about you know sharing screenshots or showing proof. You know there are plenty of other creators who are better at editing, better at you know ex um speaking than me. I just wanted to share my personal opinions um, because. I, I'm just getting fed up and I don't think a lot of people have taken into consideration that she essentially built her platform for a good chunk of time around mental illness and her struggles and things like that. And even if people don't realize it subconsciously, they had to have been thinking about how, you know, how, what she could be going through or what she's doing. And then to just find out like she doesn't care, I guess. I don't know. I'd love to get hear your comments down below, and if there's another YouTuber you would like me to discuss or just give my opinion on, let me know. I've got nothing better to do in quarantine, so just let me know. I would love to hear comments once again down below, and I'll speak to you possibly next time. Bye-bye.